Hey Hans, I hope you guys are all doing well. And welcome to another video from my Autumn Winter Fashion Edit Week. If this is the first video that you're stumbling across, my name is Belle Michelle and this week is basically dedicated to all things Autumn Winter Fashion. So it's basically a week on my channel. I do these twice a year where I upload every day for a whole week, everything to do with Autumn Winter Fashion. So we have a lot of hauls, a lot of styling videos, trend videos and all of that good stuff. If you're not already subscribed, I think that you should because you're gonna love this video and I think you're gonna love all the other videos on this channel and also make sure you turn on your post notifications on for me so that you never miss an upload so in today's video I have an ASOS haul for you guys but specifically coats from ASOS because I'll be honest ASOS isn't really giving me what it needs to give me in terms of like autumn winter fashion when I went on there there wasn't anything that caught my eye I was just like mm, mm, mm what is going on here there's definitely a lot of sequins there is a lot of sequins on asos right now so if you're looking for your new year's or christmas outfit and you like a lot of sparkle and sequins asos is the place to go but one thing that asos never disappoints me on is the coat so today i have a plethora of coats to share with you guys and i have i literally have so many coats that let's just get straight into it so the first coat i have is this gorgeous trench coat and the great thing about this is that as you can see it has these brown faux leather trimmings and this comes up so oversized so so oversized i got this in a size 16 because i could have literally got my normal size of a size 12 because this fits so oversized and to be fair in the review section by the way god bless you guys that leave reviews and leave pictures on hotels on asos and any other site on amazon god bless you in abundance may you be successful in everything in your life because i really appreciate you and not just me a lot of us really appreciate you because i never leave reviews but i love reading the reviews and they really do help but yeah so the reviews did say that it was oversized but i just thought mm, i want it to be super oversized and that's definitely what i got basically take your regular size or take a size above if you want it to be oversized because it already comes quite oversized but it is gorgeous trench coats are one of my if not my favorite style of coats i have a few i I really really want to get a Burberry trench coat but I'm on the hunt for the right vintage one but yeah if you don't want to splash out on Burberry then ASOS definitely has quite a lot of trench coats and a lot of different ones like this one is khaki with the brown leather and this is something that will be a timeless piece in your wardrobe like trench coats never date and even though it has the leather trimmings leather never dates like leather for autumn and winter is like florals for spring it will never go out of style Another coat style that never goes out of fashion in autumn and winter is a fur coat. Now this I particularly like because number one, the fur on this, I wish you guys could feel it because the fur on this is amazing. Now this is actually in the style of a, um, of a shirt or a sachet. I think that's what they call it right now but in faux fur and it comes with pockets on the side it has these two big um, pockets at the top and honestly this just feels so luxurious this feels so so luxurious and it wasn't too expensive I can't remember the price off the top of my head but I think it was around the 69 70 pound mark so I was so shocked at how affordable it was for what it is and the quality is amazing once again I sized up in all of my coats I always size up because I want my coats to be oversized so I sized up on this one this is something you can dress up and dress down and the color is stunning it's in this gorgeous chocolate brown next up I have another trench coat now this trench coat is actually quite similar to one that I got last year if you guys remember I have this trench coat where it had the um, brown lapels this I think is literally the same thing well actually no this one is a bit darker but this has blue lapels now I saw this on ASOS and I was in an iron about it and then I saw Molly May must have posted this on her Instagram now she doesn't tag any brands on her Instagram if that brand isn't cutting her a check sis will not tag but because I knew where it was from I was like oh my god the coat's gonna sell out let me just grab it and I'm so happy that I did there are a few sizes left so if you do like it I'm gonna link it in the description bar below as well as all of the other coats but 
if you like it i would say get it as soon as possible because once one of these big big influencers wear something it will sell out like that but anyway yeah i really like this and i feel like this is very close to a burberry trench as well obviously the burberry trench is usually one uh, monochromatic color however this just has a bit of edge because it has the blue trimming once again this fits super oversized i got this in a size 14 and it is very very oversized if you're like me and you like your coats to be quite oversized only need to go up one size when it comes to the trench coats in ASOS because they are made to fit a lot more oversized. Next I got this really pretty um, leather faux leather coat and then it has this sheeling detailing all over the inside which means that this coat is going to keep you so so warm for autumn and winter because this faux sheeling literally just keeps you so warm. This is going to be the perfect coat to wear if you like are going out on a night out, you're wearing you know a little mini mini skirt or a little something that's showing a bit of skin don't let yourself freeze we are too old to be freezing on the streets of london grab yourself a really lovely signature coat and this i definitely would recommend this and the leather on this as well is so supple like it literally feels like butter but yeah i really really like this once again i sized up on it as well i got it in a size 14 once again it fits really really oversized so that's one thing i love about asos coats that their coats fit oversized because like i said before i like that's why i like for my coats i don't want to be trying to pick things up and then my arms are like restricted in my coat so the next few coats i got i purchased them on asos but they're from a different brand so the first one this one is from and other stories and it might look quite similar to a coat i actually picked up last year i think it was last year's autumn winter haul week as well but that one was purple and honestly i wore it once and i think i've said this before i feel like purple or lilac is just not a color for me i'm a woman who loves color if you go through my instagram it is literally a colorful playground but lilac is just the color i haven't been able to i don't know i just think it doesn't look nice on me so i bought that i wore it and after i wore it i was so upset with myself because i was like i can't return this now so it's literally just been sitting in my cupboard and i have not worn it i think i'm probably going to sell it but then i saw this one the reason why i I said that whole story is because that one was from Anna of the Stories and so is this one as well but bought on ASOS and with this one it literally looks if not similar exactly the same but in this stone color which works so much better for me so 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 much better for me which is ironic because I love color but just not lilac but yeah so I got it in this color and it's basically just this sort of like a play on a sachet as well but it comes with this belt and it has pockets at the top and at the bottom as well but obviously you can wear it without the belt if you want to give it more of that um is it chassette hat to chassette I don't know someone comment in the comment section below like how do you actually pronounce it sachet i don't know anyway that's what this is but um really really good quality i do believe this is made from a hundred percent maybe not a hundred percent wool but like partially wool it does not say which makes me think that it probably isn't wool no it, oh yeah recycled wool 66 percent recycled wool materials okay yeah so i was correct because when i was feeling it, i was like i can feel the wool because wool is a bit itchy okay so this next coat is actually quite a disappointment because i thought it was going to be my favorite coat but first of all it stinks like hell anyway is this coat here now this is from a brand called J Lee collection this coat stinks you know when you buy something off aliexpress or like one of these chinese websites like you buy leather and it comes with that stench that is just like a damp faux leather stench that's what it smells like like it's actually quite disgusting um but yeah the coat isn't given what it needs to give so there's a coat from i think it's called nella nelly studios or am i just saying that because it's called J Lee? i'm gonna post a picture here but basically i had seen that coat now that coat is about 500 pounds ish and i was like <laughs> now you guys know me i love to, i don't mind spending money on clothes i don't mind spending money on clothes that is my favorite pastime going to the high street is my form of cardio however i was like mm, i don't really know this brand do i really want to spend 500 pounds on a coat from them and then i saw this on asos and i thought oh this is quite similar and this was 129 pounds this is ridiculous this should be like 50 pounds honestly it should be 50 pounds because it is not giving what i thought it would give or what it needs to give first of all it's one 
one size fits everyone which is an absolute lie because this doesn't fit me the way I want it to fit me this fits me quite snug and as you guys know I like my coats to be oversized or at least just not let my arms be restrictive this my arms are restricted when I bend it feels tight and ultimately it stinks the main thing is that, no, there's two main things. One that it stinks and one that it comes in one size, which is absolutely ridiculous. So if you're bigger than me, even by an inch, don't even bother buying this coat because it's not gonna work. And I actually went on the J. Lee website. Most of their coats are one size fits all, which is so crazy to me, so, so crazy. I mean, the color is gorgeous and the fur actually feels like amazing. The fur feels absolutely amazing. And I believe, is it detachable? No, it's not detachable. See, the Nelly, Stu Nelly or Nelly Studio one is actually detachable. But yeah, needless to say, I am going to be returning this and I want my entire 129 pounds back because this baby is a no. Is a no, 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 no. Mm -mm. Oh, this last coat is actually from ASOS. Well, it's from ASOS edition. What is on my face? What is on my face? I can feel something on my face. No, okay. <laughs> Anyway, as I was saying, so this next coat is this gorgeous, oh, this coat is heavy. This coat is so heavy and it is amazing quality. So it's this coat right here, which is from, like I said, ASOS Design. Now I got this in the size 18, one, because it was the only size available, two, because I wanted it oversized, but usually when I say oversized, I don't want it to drown me. 18 was the only size that they had apart from 14 and I usually go up to size 60. I got this in the size 18, so it is a bit bigger than I would like it to be however basically if you guys have seen my H&M haul you guys would have seen that gorgeous luxe wrap coat that I got so I saw this on ASOS and I was like okay it's gonna be between this and that one and I don't know which one to pick I really don't because this is gorgeous this is so so gorgeous but I do think I'm leaning towards the H&M one only because number one the price that I think the H&M one is like half the price of this and number two for the price I don't think this is wool hold on I'm gonna check yeah it's only 13% wool that's a tad bit cheeky yeah it's only 13% wool so I am leaning towards the H&M one just because price wise it's amazing quality for such an affordable price but I do like this one and I will say this one is thicker this one is definitely thicker and heavier than the H&M one but the H oh I don't, I don't know you guys have to help me please comment in the comment section below if you guys have seen my H&M haul and now that you're seeing this coat as well let me know what you think which one I should keep and that is it so those are all of the coats that I got. Let me know in the description bar below which coats you think I should keep. Also let me know if there's any that you want to grab yourself. Not in the description bar, in the comment section below. Like I mentioned before, this video is a part of my autumn winter fashion edit of 2021, which basically means I'm uploading every day this week. So one, if you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button. It's free and you've got to the end of the video. So I think you like me. Also make sure that you have your post notifications turned on me so that you don't miss any other videos especially any other videos from this week i hope you guys have a good morning evening afternoon or whatever time you're watching this video and if you like this video i think you might like this video here or possibly this video here click on either of those and let me continue to entertain you i'll see you guys again tomorrow for the next video from this fashion um no this autumn winter fashion edit <laughs> it's such a tongue twister but thank you for watching guys bye